At 635 happening today, Cincinnati Children's Hospital, as well as some pediatric offices all across the tri-state, will start to vaccinate kids age five and up against COVID-19. It's because last night the CDC director gave the green light to begin those doses. WCPO 9 News reporter Allie Kramer is live for us in Eastgate in Claremont County with more on some of the route, the rollout that will start there today. Good morning, Allie. Hey, good morning, Adrian. Well, the White House said that they shipped out 15 million doses of the kind of child sized COVID-19 vaccine, and uh, they meant it quickly because the Pediatric Associates of Mount Carmel, they already received 300 doses that they had ordered through the Ohio Department of Health, and they're now preparing to kind of vaccinate that next group, as you mentioned, ages 5 to 11. That's exactly who those doses are meant for. When I say child sized doses, they're about a third of what the older teenagers and adults are receiving. Dr. Chris Peltier with is, is a pediatrician rather in the practice, and he says that he's hearing just this overwhelming sense of relief from parents that their children can finally get vaccinated. Dr. Peltier says that kids really don't have to risk going out in crowds anymore or missing school once vaccinated. 300 doses is just a starting point for the practice. The White House says there are enough doses available to vaccinate all 28 million children in this 5 to 11 age group. Nonetheless, there will be parents who are concerned and won't get their children vaccinated or uh, Dr. Peltier said, look, at least reach out to your pediatrician. Talk to them about some of your top concerns. I get asked all the time, well, kids don't get very sick, so why should my child get it? And I, I always say, you're right, and that's good, right? So our, the, the majority of kids that get COVID are not ending up in the hospital. 25% of all COVID infections the last several weeks have been due to, to kids. Parents will ask me all the time, well, well, what are the risks? What are the side effects? And and really they're they're fairly minimal. Um, definitely just like in older people, you're gonna see some redness, soreness at the site of the injection. You may get some low grade fever, especially after that second dose and some fatigue and, and body aches. You know, when we were calling around yesterday and visiting some health departments and pediatricians offices, we're finding that many of them did in fact receive their shipment. And so it's really just waiting for the Ohio Department of Health to give the OK once the CDC director gave the OK. So there's a couple steps involved in between. But as Adrian mentioned, Children's Hospital already ready to give the vaccine today. So uh, instead of going to the hospital or necessarily the health department where they take walk in appointments, uh, you can just call your pediatrician, see if they have it available, because that honestly might be the easiest way to go ahead and get it. For now, reporting live in Eastgate, Allie Kramer, WCPO 9 News.